So there are three layers of hell when it comes to online and online marketing. The first one is having to go on Facebook and using it. The level below that is having to go on Facebook Ads Manager. And the deepest level of hell online is having to use the Facebook Ad Manager API. Regardless, I took a stroll down to the depths so you don't have to and built an ad assistant for Facebook that I'm going to show you in a second. So if you run ads yourself, you have an ad account, or if you manage a lot of accounts uh, at your ads agency, this might be something interesting for you because with that, you don't actually have to go into your ads manager, pick the right ad account, play with filters to find the stats, to then copy them into your clients or uh, anyone's Slack channel. You can just ask the agent. So I'll show you really quickly what you can do. So I'm using a Telegram trigger, but you can use Telegram, Slack, Pigeon Carrier, whatever you want, any sort of messaging app. And we're going to add, ask our assistant, what are the active accounts we're managing right now? And it's going to think a little bit. Okay, we are currently managing two active ad accounts. And those will be blocked out in post-production. So we can also ask for John Smith, for John Smith. So that would be our client name. For John Smith, what is the best performing campaign from September 1st to December 31st, 2024? So now the agent will go through the account layer to find who is John Smith, which ad account is attached to John Smith, and then actually go and find the relevant statistics. So we can see uh, it found the right ad account with the right data. It gave us impressions, clicks, spend, and purchases. Let me know if you want CPM, CTR, CPC, cost per result, or any other metrics. So what we're going to do is from the campaign level, we're actually going to go a little bit deeper and ask what's the best performing campaign for, uh, best performing ad for this campaign, and what are the stats? And since we have a memory built on Superbase, like a backend memory, uh, it actually remembers the context for dates, which account we're using, and so on. So right here, we can see this ad is the best performing impressions, clicks, spend, purchases, CTR, CPM, CPC, cost per result. And what we can do as well is if the product is 60, what is the ROAS? And it can use the calculator to do these calculations yourself. So instead of someone on your team having to actually go into the ads manager, crunch the numbers, whatever you want to do. Uh, you can literally just ask this and avoid a lot of back and forth communications, time, having to wait for your team member or account manager, or whoever is in charge of this to be online. And what's also cool is it can also be voice activated. So what I'm going to ask it is, can you break down all the ads in this campaign and their stats so I can compare the performance and also calculate ROAS for each ad if the product is 60 euros. And since we do have a voice sort of interpreter, it might take a little bit longer to think about this and pull the data. But when things go right, we get a full breakdown of everything. We can see ROAS zero, no purchases. There's an ad that had 2.75. Um, and yeah, you can just have a chat across all of your ad accounts. So like I quickly mentioned as well, this is the input layer of this agent here, uh, but you can use Slack, whatever you want. Then we have the actual agent. We're using a think node uh, just for reasoning because there might be a little bit more um, data involved with different types of insights. Then we do have the account layer. So you can't, since um, this HTTP request requires a specific ad Mm, account number or ID and credentials, you're going to need an extra layer to go through all of them. If you just have one ad account, you don't really need it. But if you manage a lot of accounts, you're going to need an extra layer uh, for the ad assistant and a tool for it to find what ad account you're actually talking about. We have the memory, and then we actually have the insights layer uh, with Facebook Marketing API and Insights API uh, here. And some other interesting cool things that you can do is we have the account management layer here, um, which, which is the directory of the ad accounts. But you can also link your sales data with these ad accounts. This is the insight layer that's already built as well. These are the two things that you saw. But something that's easy to add on is if you can take the sales data and add it to the memory itself or in the back end for the tool for the ad agent to use, 
you can have, for example, a reporting layer where you pull all the relevant info, whether that's booked calls, show up rates, closed calls, ACV, cash collected, no matter what your client or, or you use in your sales process. You can take that to generate a report of, with all of your branding templates, so on, whether that's weekly or monthly or daily for you or your clients or um, for your boss, essentially. And you can also pull the winning ads, so kind of showing which ad scripts and creatives actually do the best. If you want, you can have a human approval step in between, or you can just send it straight into, I messed up this here, but you can just send it straight into your client or your team or your boss. But if you want that human approval, um, you can have an extra step to where you're just like, hey, change this a little bit, remove this ad because I don't want to get fired. Iterate, it generates the report again, you approve it and it goes there. And another layer that is easily built on top of that is the copy layer. So that will require another AI agent or a worker, team member, but you can pull the, find, uh, the best ads with this agent. You can extract the copy and creative and then set, send that ad to the writer agent and prompt it or ask it something like um, generate new hooks to test or different CTAs to test. So you can efficiently start doing split tests or produce split tests to run against the winning campaigns um, and kind of start to try and beat your control. These layers aren't built out, but they wouldn't be too difficult to add on top. But the cool thing here is it's not just for one ad account, but it works as many ad accounts as you want. And that is done through the Meta app developer for the API access itself. Um, if you found this video or breakdown useful, I know there's a lot of Asian breakdowns and demos where it's just a screenshot of the NAN flow uh, and no one actually uses or shows how they are used in practice. It takes a little bit more prompting and making sure that the AI team member doesn't hallucinate and go crazy and can make up numbers. Um, but I just wanted to kind of show you how it actually works in practice.